As a Squarespace web designer, getting client feedback on websites can be a real slog. So in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that I love called Workflow that makes that so much easier. If we haven't met, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator, and I have a full post on how to collect website feedback from clients. I'll drop a link to that below. But in this video, I want to give you a quick walkthrough of Workflow, which is a tool that makes it so much easier. And if you're interested in trying it out, I'll drop a link below to 50% off your first three months. All right, let's dive in. So the great news is you can try Workflow for free before committing. So just go ahead and click try it for free on the homepage and then sign up. It's a really quick process. Then you create your profile and you can set up your team. This is where I would add a logo. And I would recommend showing notifications. So you'll know immediately when you get client feedback, but you'll also get an email. So if you don't want notifications, you don't have to. So once you have your account set up, what you can do is create a project, invite your client and get to work. So the easiest way to do this is to go to projects, start a new project. And then I normally call this project name either their domain name or their name. So let's say this is Jane Doe. And I'll add a little note here about the project and hit continue. Now I can invite another user to the project. So if I'm going to be collaborating with my client, I will drop their email in here and invite them as a guest so they can only edit this particular project. So your client will get an email that invites them to collaborate on this project and they can continue by setting up an account. Now you don't have to pay for their account. You can have a guest for free, but this allows you to keep everything in one place inside workflow and it's really handy. So first up, let's add a task for Jane. Let's go ahead and say we would like for her to review the homepage and you can add a brief here. So anything that you want her to look at specifically, I would list it here and then we'll add the website. So we'll go ahead and paste in the URL to our website. Now this website is not live. It is behind a password inside Squarespace and workflow is going to let you enter in that password right here. I've just set it to be workflow within Squarespace. And if you have any questions about that, I'll drop a link below to a video on how to set up a site-wide password. So only your client or people with a password can view it. Once we've added that, we can view the task and send it off to our client for revisions. When they hop in, they're gonna see that they need to review the homepage and they'll see any messages you left. They'll also get a little walkthrough here that explains how to view and use workflow. But let's go ahead and just leave a couple of quick comments. So the first thing that I think is really nice is that if you're a Squarespace designer, you know that the desktop view and mobile view of your website can be very different. So workflow actually adds an icon so you can see what view of the website your client was on when they left feedback. So for example, for this, let's say, let's use our new tagline. So this is Jane. Uh, she's asking us to use our new tagline and we're going to ask Jane to also review the site in mobile view. So she's going to go up here and click to go into mobile view and scroll down and she'll say something like, I'd prefer this image to be smaller on mobile. So I would prefer this image to be smaller. And maybe she doesn't specify mobile here, but we can look at this icon and when we roll over it, we can see what browser she's using and the screen size. So this was a full width screen and this is a mobile screen. So that is really, really handy. Now you're getting notifications for these via email and also through the app if you've turned on notifications. So when you go back here, you're going to see her comments right here and we'll click on that. And then you can write back directly within workflow. So just to confirm, and then you can put new tagline here, make sure you've got the right one and send that over. And now Jane will get a notification and come back in and see your reply here and say, yes, perfect. Thank you. Now, a couple of other things to note here. 
you and your client can attach files. Both you and your client can also record a video. So if there's something that your client needs to draw your attention to as a larger whole, they can do that via video, or you can send an explainer comment back via video, which is really handy. Now let's say that you have made updates to the website and you want to send Jane a new version to look at. All you have to do is to add a new version is click the plus sign here beside V1. And we're going to paste our link in again and add that new version here. And you can see we're now looking at version two and you can always toggle back and forth between the two versions and it's really handy it has a big red old here for any older versions so you'll know if you're in the current version or not now if you'd like your client to give you official approval you can turn that on here in the back end to enable approvals so any reviewer explicitly approve or request changes to your work you get notified when it happens so now in your client view, they can approve this at any time or request changes. So when it's approved, you are done. Congratulations. You can move on to the next task and you can see on your end that this was approved. Now, as you add more tasks, you can move these to in progress, ready for review, done. So you can use this just like a Kanban board yourself and organize your entire project here if you would like. But overall, the beauty of workflow is that it keeps everything in one place. It's a really easy, intuitive platform for your client to use to provide feedback. And my favorite thing is that it just looks really, really nice. If you want to try out Workflow yourself, I'll drop a link below so you can get 50% off your first three months. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like, drop a comment below. That helps other people discover my videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I wish you all the best with your web design business. <music>